Hello and welcome back. So we are getting started on the solar stanchion. So we're gonna be using these pipes. We're gonna be using um, some concrete and other things and we are gonna get the solar stanchion set up. Our goal is to have the whole stanchion set up as well as the panels installed over the next couple of days. So we have got a lot of work to do. So if you've been watching our videos on on another video we dug the holes over five feet deep and then we filled them with over a foot of rock so now the holes are ready there's a little bit because um, it's been a little time we need to um, clean a little bit of mud out from where it's rained off the top of the rocks and then we'll start getting the um, piping set So these are the top caps. We'll go on here. They have um, Allen's wrenches. We'll have to tighten these down to the pole. And then when the other poles sit on top of here, the U-bolts will hold this on. I think you're right. I think we need to switch them. I need some help. <laughs> How am I going to help you? Grab it. Bear hug it. Something. <laughs> Ow, you're on my foot. Sorry, sorry. guys so we got the first the let's say this we got the south piers up and we got the cross pipe all the way across here on the north side we got the top caps on and we have the three and the ground we're gonna have to have extra help to get that cross pipe up it is it weighs eight pounds per foot and these and these are 17 and 17 feet one and a half inches long each section because it's a total of 34 feet three inches so um we join them together here in the middle so it's pretty heavy for us to do especially up that high so we're gonna have to um tomorrow start working on that first thing then we're gonna have to get everything braced and get the concrete poured our goal really is to get these panels the solar panels installed on the stanchion this weekend so we gotta see if we can make this happen <laughs> this is what we got done tonight this is night one of the solar stanchion we've spent just a couple hours what time is it we spent about two and a half hours tonight doing this so we'll see how it goes from here we'll see you guys tomorrow.
How about now? concrete we're going to stick a couple of rails on here just to help keep this stable so that everything is plumb and secure when we start putting the concrete in and level this morning welcome back to day two of our solar stanchion the whole stanchion build so we had friends and family come and help us out this morning we got everything plumbed up this back line we had to get up the rest of the way um, and get that the two pipes on top now these pipes are about eight pounds per foot so the two pipes that we had to put at the top were about 136 pounds each so getting them with the forks on top and then get everything secured and everything plumb um was a job but we got it all up we have got um, braces put in place to hold it and now we're working on the concrete now because we don't have power here um, and we don't have a well drilled water is the issue with mixing this we had gotten a cement cement um concrete mixer um but it is not working when we plugged up the generator so because of that we are not having to mix it by hand now our water is being gravity fed out of this container right there <laughs> then we just pulled the truck so that it's uphill on an incline and then it's coming down with the hose and we're using that to mix the concrete in the wheelbarrow then we're able to wheel it over to the holes and dump it in it is taking us going to take us about six to seven bags of 80 pound concrete per hole so that's what we're working on now trying to get it mixed trying to get it not too soupy and not too dry since the mixer isn't working so here's where we are they're mixing and there's the stanchion now these rails we have three rails that we have in place right now they're only there for stabilization to help this stanchion stay put while the concrete is hardening we will be uh, putting up 10 rails because that is what our panels will sit on and actually clamp down to but we won't do that until the concrete has hardened we thought we were going to do it tomorrow but we've decided we're going to give this concrete time to set up um, about a week because it's going to be about four and a half to five feet of concrete in these holes so it's going to take it a while for all of that to set up so we will come back next weekend and actually install the panels but the stanchion itself will hopefully be done by the end of today we'll probably come back and do the rails at some point this week so that when we go to do the panels next weekend it's just panels so here we go i know i haven't done a lot of talking it's been a lot of work a lot of hands-on i'm trying to keep you updated on the process wheelbarrow won't be any good That's four bags. And they feel
What you doing? I'm making my own concrete. Wow. Is it ready? Wish it was that easy in real life. Yeah. Not that easy. All you gotta have is a puddle of water and dirt. What have you made? A water catchment. Ah, where it was, it was dripping? Mm-hmm. Look at all the water you caught. And there's some one down there too. And so you just got everything propped up I, there. You used, used your bottle. So this is number seven or six and a half. Water hose. The last bag. Can I start? Well that's it. We have the stanchion up and all of the concrete is in all of the holes. And so we are done for today. I am tired. Mentally, I think. Well, I mean physically too. But it was a good day. I'm really proud of us for getting this done. And don't forget to hit the like button, share our videos, hit subscribe if you haven't already, and stay tuned because next we have to get these panels up on the stanchion. See you next time. Good work. Good job.